Our, Our big, big story this afternoon, a warning for helicopter parents of college kids. It's that time of year, a punch in the gut for parents as they drop off their kids to college for the first time. And for most, it's the first time leaving their kids and it's not easy. Our very own Joe Dana just went through this, sending his, his own college freshman off to school. And he got some advice on why it's important you give those kids some space. Here at ASU, the first full week of classes begins. One researcher has new insight into helicopter parents and freshman students. We load them up and send them off. It's hard. You're going to make me cry. <laughs> Researchers say helicopter parenting while our student is in college is a real problem for today's generation. The problem is it's tempting for us parents because we have different ways to keep track of our kids. For example, I've got the My Phone app, which shows me exactly where my son is right now. He's in his college dorm on ASU campus, which happens to be right here. And he should be on his way to his first period class. So, you know, by coincidence, since I'm here working, I'll go ahead and just, you know, check and make sure he's on his way to his class. Let's go. He has no idea I'm here. Okay, he's got exactly 19 minutes. Uh, it's a big campus. I'm hoping he's brushing his teeth right now. All right, 16 minutes to go. Did he charge his tablet last night? You can't go to class without all of your stuff charged and ready to go. Does he have enough clean underwear? How many pairs did he actually bring? Now, is he even eating breakfast? Is he getting his protein? Oh, hey buddy, what are the chances? How are you? Good, how are you? Good, good to see you. You've got, I think, about 14 minutes to get to class. I don't want to hold you up. That's true. Are you surprised to see me? I'm very surprised to see you. <laughs> I, I'm smelling good. I'm all showered. He knows just the right thing to say. You've got about 13 minutes, not like anyone's counting, but about how far is your class? <laughs> My class is about 20 minutes away. Whoa, whoa, wait a minute. But I have a skateboard. Our instinct as parents is often to micromanage. Not a good idea, says Ming Sui, professor of human development and family science at Florida State University. Sui reviewed 70 studies of helicopter parenting of emerging adult children. And we found overwhelming evidence that helicopter parenting is associated with uh, negative consequences uh, with uh, emerging adult children's uh, development. Overparenting is related to higher levels of depressive and anxiety symptoms and lower levels of life satisfaction. Examples include dictating what courses to take, intervening in roommate disputes, and contacting instructors with complaints. If you have a conflict with a professor, let's say in a month, Will your parents feel an instinct to get involved, to maybe call the professor? No, they'll let me handle it myself. Sui's research also found there's no one-size-fits-all approach to parenting your college freshman. They've called me probably almost every night. Close relationships, even daily communication, can reduce your child's stress. You know, certainly this uh, technology now uh, make the children away in college and their parents uh, to be more connected more than ever. Researchers say come to a mutual agreement about what's expected. Like they do track my phone where I'm at so she knows like when I go to the gym and stuff she'll text me so that's kind of weird but <laughs> other than that. Well, they don't look up my location at all. <laughs> yeah. Because any parent who does that, you know, is probably going a little <laughs> too far. All right, so what if we make a deal? I'm not going to track you on, find my iPhone every day. Okay. But if I text you, <laughs> I do expect a response of some kind, at least within a few minutes. All right, that's reasonable. Overall, would you say I'm a helicopter parent? I'd say the only weird thing is uh, meeting me this morning and walking me to class. Fair enough. All right, listen to your teacher, take good notes. I'm going to let you go, right. as hard as it is. See you, buddy. Love you, Dad. All right, I'll be waiting for you when you're finished with your class. <laughs> Oh, let him go to class, <laughs> oh. Joe. I'll tell you what, it's, that was oh. the second time. We already said bye to him a week earlier, but not easy. You, In full transparency, you were a mess, right? I was. I was it's a, okay. When we, yeah. when, we, when we put him in that dorm and you finally say goodbye, it's just the realization, as you know, Mark, that they're entering this new chapter and they're on their own. Yes. And, but the research shows a couple of things. One is, you know, consistent communication is just a part of our lives these days. So it is okay to uh, check in. And in fact, one poll showed that 65% of college students actually reach out to their parents 
uh, at least once a day in some form. Mm -hmm. And so it's not necessarily a bad thing. Mm -hmm. um, it's, it's when you're a parent and when you're interjecting yourself into their trials and the challenges that they right. might face, that's one of the big red flags because those are the moments when they're supposed to learn how to handle that on their own. Whether it's a, you know, a trial with a roommate or an administrator or a relationship or a, a teacher, mm -hmm. yeah. right? Yeah. Uh, so some interesting things came out of, came out of this research for sure. Mm -hmm. I think the most important thing that you said is, and it's something that we can all as parents take to heart, is there is no one size fits all. Sure. Every, ideally, you know your own kid well enough to know how close or how far you should step when they make that next step to college. And, and, and as American parents, we feel more justified to meddle in our kids' experiences. This is again with the research shows because college is so expensive. So you're paying a lot and you feel like, I wanna see what your grades are. I wanna see your portal and know how you're doing. Uh, I want to know what classes you're taking, and I even want to have a say in maybe what classes you take this semester. Yeah, justify that, those bills, right? Yes, exactly. The money is so expensive. <laughs> yes. And so uh, the psychologist will say, you need to have open communication, create some boundaries, and, you know, one of the biggest tension points is parents trying to dictate what classes their kids should take because the parents believe they know what's best. And, and really the advice is your child needs to have some exploration. And that may mean an extra semester or two or more in college because they need to explore what they really want to do. Well, your home will become the ultimate laundromat because that's that was yeah. the reason my kids came home was to do laundry. Yes. Yeah. We've, uh, we've already been there once. Yeah. And yeah. any meals? You're of course. Some meals a home cooked meal. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, I know. Oh, God. any excuse to get them to come home for the weekend. Hang in there, Joe. Thank oh, you. Oh God, I can't even. Congratulations. Think about that. Oh yeah, no. Yeah, kidding. good luck to all those parents yeah. who sent their kids off. Mm, okay.